In this video, I am going to show you how to open Guppy and explain the home page of Guppy. Basically, the home page of Guppy uh, has different parameters, which I'll explain how those parameters work and how users should change those parameters based on their requirement in the analysis process. So to open Guppy, first we will open terminal if I am using Mac or Linux or I'll open Anaconda prompt window if I am using Windows. After opening the terminal, change the directory using cd command to the guppy folder. So if you noticed, the folder has guppy main as the first folder and inside the guppy main folder there is one more folder which is guppy. So I'll change my directory to guppy main slash guppy. After doing this, I'll activate the environment which we created in the installation process. So I'll use command conda activate guppy. After activating the environment, I will open guppy using the command panel serve show saving input parameters. This all these commands to open guppy is available on github wiki page of guppy repository. When I will execute this command guppy home page will open up. So guppy home page looks like this. These are all the steps which we do in the analysis process. There are three different sections containing different parameters. One is individual analysis parameter section group analysis parameter section and visualization parameters. I'm going to explain all these parameters. Also keep in mind that these parameters are explained on the GitHub wiki page too. So in the individual analysis section, here you select the folders in which your data is present for the analysis you select the folder and move it to this side using the arrow key so let me do uh, let me show you my, you navigate to the folder where your data is present so i am using data collected by tdt systems so if you open this folder there are different files present in the folder so i'll move this whole folder this side which has data for this recording session some of the parameters are already explained in the in the home page also so combined data this parameter is by default set as false user can set it to true when they want to combine multiple files for example in a case where recording got stopped midway and you started the recording again and for for one session and and there were two different data files saved differently in your machine in that case you can set this parameter to true so that it will combine the, those two different data files and make it as one and run the analysis. ISO's bit stick control 
channel parameter is always is by default set to true but if user doesn't want to use iso's best control channel in the analysis user can set it to false eliminate first few seconds is the parameter to eliminate data for the first one second or two seconds whatever the seconds user has mentioned this parameter is useful to remove the artifact that happens when the led turns on this window for moving average filter so guppy uses zero phase moving average digital filter for that it uses a movie window of 100 data points by default it is 100 but user can change it based on their data suppose the data is collected at a sampling rate of 1000 data points per second then 100 data points window of 100 data points seems ideal to use you change this parameter based on the sampling rate of your data z score or delta f over f for psth computation so you can select either you want to make psth using z score or delta f over f or both same with transients if user wants to compute the transients in z score trial or delta f over f trial or both they can select it which plot you want to see during the analysis process you can select either z score delta f over f or both moving window for transients detection guppy detects transients in the z score trace or delta f over f trace and for that detection it uses a moving window of 15 seconds this parameter is in seconds you can change this parameter based on your data remove artifact i'll explain how to remove artifact in another video but whenever user has artifacts they make this parameter true and run the analysis again i'll show this functionality of guppy in another video then there are z score parameters so we have provided computation different computation method to calculate z score there are three different methods standard z score baseline z score and modified z score how these methods work for those details you visit the github wiki page psth parameters these are very simple so we make the psth such that the event is occurring at zero seconds and you take the trial before zero seconds that is minus 10 and after zero that is 20 time interval so to omit the burst of event timestamps user can define this time interval so that if the time difference between two timestamps is less than this defined time interval it will only consider the first timestamp and not the second one so for example if two timestamps are occurring at at a time difference of less than two seconds then the first timestamp will be considered in the analysis second timestamp will be omitted guppy also provides a meaning of the psth trials so for example if you by default this value is zero but if you set it to say suppose 10 minutes then it will be in those psth trials in 10 minute windows baseline parameters this is uh, the parameter to calculate baseline and do the baseline correction in the psth trials 
if you don't want to use baseline correction in the PSTH trials, you can set both these parameters to zero. To calculate the peak and area under the curve for the mean PSTH trial, you can give five different windows and it and the guppy will compute the peak and area under the curve for those windows. So these are the parameters in the individual analysis. These, these are the parameters for group analysis. So in here you select the folders for which you want to do the group analysis and then set this parameter to true if you want to do the group analysis instead of false. The last section is visualization parameters that is what do you want to visualize after doing the analysis what do you want to actually visualize either you want to visualize z-score or delta f over f and if this parameter is false it will by default show you individual analysis uh, visualization if you make this parameter true then guppy will open a window where you will visualize group analysis so these are the these are all the parameters in the guppy tool see other videos to know how to run individual analysis group analysis and how to use CSV file in the analysis process.